Hello YouTube, in this series I am going to design and build my own drawer system. I will discuss my project assembly, parts list, weight calculations, assumptions of this system and I will go through build process. This is my third drawer system that I have built for my G. Based on previous experience, this time I decided to design first and then build before grabbing angle grinder or welder. There are a couple of assumptions I would like to speak about. First, it must be made out of aluminum to save weight, but it must be solid as well, so I must keep balance between those two factors. Second is that I must know the weight before I start building. Third, it must be modular so that I can instantly or uninstall each module separately and each module must be independent. This assumption is mostly for main module with drawers. When this main module is uninstalled I want all space behind front seats to be accessible without any problems. Fourth, the installation must be one man job without breaking my backbone. Drawer system consists of four modules. Now you can see only three for better explanation and in this video I'm going to build those three and add additional bivouac electrics and devices as well so pretty much to do those three modules are going to be more permanent than main one on top there is shelf for folding chairs and table and some other things that can be packed in longer bags at sides there are two independent modules for additional electric devices like hotel battery this is circuit breakers mppt charger ac dc charger on the other side there is symmetric mount for AC inverter and air compressor but this installation is going to be in next videos. In the middle there is main module with two drawers, fridge and additional storage box. I know that most of you want fridge to be mounted as low as possible for better access but this configuration worked for me great in previous builds and I don't mind standing on my bumper to grab something from my fridge. Speaking about the weight, weight became important for me. I made previous drawer system with steel and it was way too heavy. It's mostly because at the time I had only stick welder. Second, you always take some overlanding gear with you and I was always curious how much weight you must add to organize your gear. So I've gathered all the materials in a spreadsheet. So for example, the L shape in this size in millimeters weights 0.62 kilograms per meter and so on. This is a table for a main drawer system and this is a part for all the aluminum materials. Then this row represents sliders and then there is a cooler and box and this is categorized as a load. So in total it is going to weight 80 kilos. There is also aluminum total and aluminum percentage. This table represents sides, left and right one for electric system. And again aluminum part and load part. Total 65 kilos, aluminum total and aluminum percentage. And the last table goes to the top shelf and again aluminum part and load part. Total of 16.5 kilograms, aluminum total and aluminum percentage. And in the end the most important factors is that I am going to use around 58 kilograms of aluminum. Total empty weight is going to be 163 kilograms and my aluminum percentage is going to be 35 percent and uh, here there is no load in main drawers but I am including 32 kilograms of battery in this factor. Total loaded is going to be 213 kilograms and my aluminum percentage factor drops to 27 percent and I am assuming 50 kilograms of load in main drawers and inside fridge and box as well and the last one is that if I would make it uh, with a steel it would weigh 
280 kilograms so this is a lot so pretty a lot of weight saved using aluminum okay pretty much enough of talking time to build because they uh, without uh, cutting out something with angle grinder is pretty much a lost day <laughs> I will start with this top shelf, so I first cut aluminum that I buy in my local supply store according to needs for my project. Alright, so the top shelf is all welded, now I am going to continue with those side panels for electrics, so I am going to start with those C channels, then I am going to continue with the plate and this additional mount. Time for a small uh, update, so I've welded uh, I think everything uh, and I also uh, painted uh, pretty a lot of things. But the most important is that I have uh, parts for the uh, left side, parts for the right side, like um, this mount uh, for the battery, it's painted and the paint is cured. I have also those uh, C channels. Um, behind this uh, panel, uh, this side panel, um, this is right one, this is going to be left one, also painted C channels um, and this uh, left mount. I have a bunch of uh, electrical uh, devices over here like um, Victron Energy uh, Inverter, ARB uh, compressor, some air um, regulator. Um, on the right side, I'm going to have uh, this uh, 230 Victron Energy 12 volt uh, charger, some uh, boxes uh, for the uh, home automation, like socket, a switch on off uh, for the solar panels and um, AC 230 inlet uh, on and off relays for the front OSRAM lights for 
um, for those over there circuit breakers uh, Victron uh, solar MPPT controller relay for IBS uh, DS so this is a connection between main and hotel battery more cigarette lighters some more uh, 200 amps and 150 amps uh, DC circuit breakers this is um, painted top shelf for folding chairs uh, and table so right now I am going to assemble this uh, top shelf and then I am going to assemble electrics on this uh, right uh, panel <laughs> biggest challenge is not to scratch anything if we don't scratch anything we will call it a success mm -hmm. maybe okay so now not good okay Okay, so it is mounted like so. Two more mounts. And this one goes like this. Symmetrical. Goes to the right. And the table. Alright, so I have installed everything and all additional electrics is wired as well. I have all front and side lights working. I have wired my intelligent battery system, additional hotel battery, DC fuses, AC-DC charger, external AC sockets, four additional interior LED lamps, rear camera, all rocker switches in my central console are also wired, and new external USB GPS is wired to my navigation system. And I have also fabricated covering panel with carpet for tailgate. In next video I will continue and build main module with the drawers.